Hello, good morning, how are you today? Today we are going to study the lesson 7D. It's like an introduction to the topic how to make a request. So, what do you want? Uh, when you want something, you ask for help, yes? And then you explain the problem or somebody asks you what's the problem, yes? So let's see, in that case, uh, what can we do? to ask for that help, that is, make a request, yes? So first look at these pictures, look carefully, what do you see? What can you see? Where are they? Where are the, uh, the people here, yes? What, what do you think they say? What does the person ask for? What does he need or she, yes? Next, in picture two, what is the weather like? What do the men need or want? What is the man in picture two doing? What are the people doing? Yes? So, take a, a paper and first of all, try to do your vocabulary. For example, make a, a vocabulary list there is a man, an umbrella, I can see rain, or, or the man has two umbrellas. What is he wearing, no? The man is wearing shorts, the other man is wearing a, a coat, a hat. What about the other picture, yes? There are four people here, one man is standing, and what is he doing? Yes? Or mention the vocabulary. I can see a violin. Yes, I can see an opera house. People are wearing elegant clothing. They are wearing hats. Yes? So take some seconds to try to answer the questions. Try to do it orally before you start writing. Okay, after that, try now to see what is the situation. Yes, in this case, what is happening to this man? What do you think he needs? What about this man? What do you think he needs? Okay? Now, here you are more, more pictures. We are going to do the, the same dynamic, yes? What can you see in the pictures? Where are they? What do they say? What does the person ask for? Yeah, what is the situation? What is the problem? So here it is some vocabulary, maybe that uh, you can use to make your description, yes? Thirsty, the man, the guy, hospital, money, the woman, the beach, the sun, it's hot, broken arm, broken leg, a man with a um, eating pizza, sandwich, he or she wants or he or she likes, hungry, the man, the other two men, a park, a picnic, the bus, set the volume up or set the volume down so try to find out more vocabulary according to these pictures yes now now that you have seen the pictures try to describe them speculate about yes so think about in your opinion or i think or i imagine and write down where the people are, what they are doing, and what they say. Where are the speakers? What does the first speaker request? Talk about a time when you requested something from a stranger in the street. Now uh, remember or try to remind 
a situation where uh, you made a request. Do you remember what situation was that? Where were you? What happened? What time it was? Who were you with? Yes. What you said? And what the reason was? What was the situation there? Now, let's try to complete this these uh, sentences with the words from the box, yes? Can, certainly, afraid, could, or course. So we have for number one, you lend me some money. I am, I don't have any. Yes. I borrow your umbrella, please. Yes. So try to to complete the sentence orally. Just try not to write. So for the first one, maybe we can say, "Can you lend me some money?" or "Could." It is possible also, right? Could you lend me some money? Or can you lend me some money? Number two, I am afraid I don't have any. Number three, yes, of course. Number four, we can say, can, can I borrow your umbrella, please? Or could, could I borrow your umbrella, please? And number five, yes, certainly. Okay, so there are some sentences that you can use to make a request. So when you make um, a request, <clears throat> you also have to respond, yes? So you make and respond a request. <clears throat> so some of the things we can, <clears throat> we have to take on account is, it is important to be polite when you ask for something, yes? Just always try to be polite. You can make a request by using, for example, some uh, startings in the questions. Now, can you, could you, will you, would you mind, and then you make your request. Yes, for example, uh, can you lend me some money, please? <clears throat> Could you lend me some money, please? Will you lend me some money, please? Would you mind lending me some money, please? Yes? <clears throat> we have some other examples here. Can you show me your photo album, please? So try always to add please, yes, at the end of the question or your request. Will you lend me your book, please? Could you possibly show me the way to the post office, please? Would you help me with this exercise, please? Would you mind lend me your pen, please? So to this request, we can answer or respond saying, sure, here you are. Okay. No, I'm sorry, I need it. Or oh, I'm afraid I can't. Or yes, of course. Certainly. I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm afraid I don't. So, when you respond to a request, try to uh, pay attention on the intonation, yes? If it is a positive answer, the, inton the intonation goes up. Right? So, sure, here you are. Okay. But if the answer is negative, it is usually, the intonation usually goes down, no? No, I'm sorry, I need it. I'm afraid I can't. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm afraid I don't. So, like, the intonation is going down, right?
Okay, now uh, you can refer to page 88 of your student's book and to the audio 72 of your student's book and try to answer the exercise using some of these phrases, yes? When you finish working on page 88, please refer to this short presentation to see the pictures and just try to write down the situation on your notebooks just to practice. You don't have to hand it in, yes? This is only for practice. If you want to do it orally, that's okay, right? And try to build a short description, a very short description, okay? Then, thank you and see you in classroom to take the role, yes, to check your assistance. Thank you very much and happy day.